Marshal to all units. Officers require assistance on Boulder Road. Hey guys, welcome back to Cataclysm Studio. I am your host, GamerTag Apocalypse. Today I will be reviewing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on the Xbox 360 and the PC. So guys, let's get down with the review. If you were a big fan of the original Need for Speed Hot Pursuit back in the late 90s, this game is definitely for you. Published by EA and developed by Criterion Games, this may be the smartest thing EA have done for the franchise. With the success of Need for Speed Shift, EA had basically had to look for another way for their arcade version of the series and avoid being overshadowed. Bringing in Criterion Games, developer for the long-running Burnout series, could possibly change Need for Speed in general. So guys, let's talk graphics for a second here. This game looks gorgeous, adds different shine for the series. If you are a big fan of the Burnout series, some of the visual goodies will probably remind you of somewhat very familiar. Though the game is locked at 30 frames per second on the console, it doesn't hurt this masterpiece at all. The cars themselves look awesome, backing it up with some cool special effects. If you are on the PC, actually on the PC side of things is really good. Um, if you had a you know DX11 compatible video card or a system in general, this this is gorgeous. Just on a PC, uh, it, it is definitely worth it. And I know a lot of PC gamers don't play a lot of racing games, but this game is a definitely must buy. So guys, let's talk sound for a second. Uh, this is where the game actually shines bright. Because uh, sounds like I'm repeating myself like a lot when I do talk about sound on my reviews. But Dolby Digital support on a video game is a must for now, like nowadays, you know. And this game does deliver. If you are a home theater enthusiast, you will not be disappointed. Not only car, the car sound good, but the ambient sound and the environment and the slow motion crashing sounds good, sound good too. You know, what's also great about this is the need for speed. It's EA, so EA, EA does not disappoint with the soundtrack. Soundtrack is really cool. You could change it up actually by hitting up the RB button. So basically you could scroll through um, through your playlist there. So it sounds really amazing. Soundtrack is, is top notch. So guys, let's talk about gameplay for a second here. Um, this game is definitely the ultimate crossover and it's done un uh, unintentionally, you know, graphics of a need for speed and gameplay of a burnout. Type controls drifting in this game is heaven. On some cars that is, you know, uh, this is the only game where being a cop is actually fun. I may sound a little opinionated, but the cop missions are definitely the best. Both the cop and racers now are actually fully equipped with perks, like you've seen in, you know, other racing games, a la Blur. Uh, but done better. With EMP burst, portable spike strips, jammer, roadblock, and heli support for your uh, personal arsenal, this game rules online racer. Um, as you, you know, basically create havoc on the road and, you know, you basically leave your opponent with no remorse. I mean, the perks are amazing in this game, no matter what it is. Like, my favorite one here is the EMP burst. So, this game is about winning and being first on the finish line so it can be frustrated at times you know causing you to restart the game especially on the uh, on career mode and just basically throw your controller at your tv if you're playing online because being first is the whole point of this game you know what i mean uh, on the racing side of things i guess i say the coolest feature in this game uh, is actually one of the most downright useless for the most and it's called the autolog it basically shows the stats and compare them with your uh, with your buddies to basically battle it out until one of you basically says ah oh, who cares you know at the end you know uh, y you won't care about this feature unless you are a hardcore addict and basically want to show off your small penis you know that's that's all I think it is I mean, it's a it's a racing game I think people just want to go online and, and, and race anyway and uh, play this game you know I'm it's not Call of Duty, so, you know, it's pretty linear, you know, A to B, you know, if you're a cop, you know, there is only one mission in this thing, and you just basically take down your opponent, right? So, um, let's just say that, uh, it's, you know, you, actually there's a lot of other features here that, like I said, a lot of people probably won't use. They turn this game basically into a, like a social network kind of thing, like a Facebook uh, type game. Because now you can take photos, you know, share them with your friends, you know, there's ranking, uh, like, ranking and wall posts and stuff like that. So, you know, just like Facebook, you know, uh, you go, you post messages to your friends, say, okay, you know, uh, I just beat you, and, you know, just, 
and just beat your time and stuff like that and and whatnot. So you know, but at the end you're like, okay, so this is a racing game, right? You know, and whatnot. But like I said, it doesn't hurt the gameplay. Those are just like a lot of features that they added in that they didn't need to add in. So guys, my final thoughts. Um, it is a must buy, no doubt. It's been out for about a week now. I don't think it's you know it's sold out, but if uh, but it should have because it is it is a very good game. Rent it if if you if you can't afford it, then keep it as long as you can until basically they tell you to give it back. Because this game is a must own. So overall, it's a solid racer. It's what fans of the series have been waiting for. And um, I was never a big fan of uh, the Need for Speed series right after uh, uh, the last Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I think it was called Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed or something like that. After that, I was not a big fan. I mean, like, uh, the whole Need for Speed Underground stuff was okay. I th okay, the, the first Need for Speed Underground was good. But then after that, they just messed up the whole series. And they actually came back with it. With, they actually came back with the series um, with Need for Speed Shift, which was a great game. But it was a little bit difficult for, like, you know, the newcomers. Mm -hmm. You know, because... You had to do a whole bunch of, uh, you know, modification to your cars, tuning it up and stuff like that. You won't see this on this game. There's no tuning up in this game. There's no um, customizing and stuff like that. This is just like, you know, you basically unlock your cars and you race, basically. So it is like Burnout. It's exactly like Burnout with uh, licensed cars, which is really good. Guys, it's a must buy. You got to get this game. All right. So I am your host, Gamer Tag Apocalypse for Cataclysm Studio. Game on, guys.